is Kate from inkstampshare.ink. Um, I'm going to share these beautiful papers with you uh, today. Um, these are called uh, Inside the Line Designer Series Papers from Stamping Up, part of the celebration uh, freebies that are going on till the end of the month. Um, they are rather pretty and there's a lot of designs in there. They're like adult colouring papers. Um, and they are absolutely lovely and I've seen them used in a lot of different projects. I've seen them all coloured in, used as uh, greetings cards, um, notebook covers, I've seen them made into boxes and bags. Um, because they're such a large size and they're really good quality cardstock, you can do a lot with them. Um, they're beautiful designs, they have this lovely bee on them and the dragonfly appears quite a lot and that matches a bundle of stamps and um, dies that are in the spring summer catalogue as well which makes it perfect for cards. I've been having a lot of playing around with these just colouring in them in. So um, they work really well with the watercolour pencils that are new that are lovely and they yeah with the blender pen so I've just been mindlessly really um, watching TV and colouring in which is fun. Um, I've also tried it with the markers, with the Stampin' Light markers. Um, my little boy's been playing with it too. He had fun with them. Um, yeah, it's lovely. So I'm going to show you how to make a really quick card using these. Okay, so this is the card we're going to make. Um, and I've actually used the stamp and dies um, that, that are in that bundle I was talking about as well. Um, obviously you don't need to have to use those two, but they are rather lovely. So I'll show you those before we start. These are the, what well, they are, they're called Dragonfly Dreams and they've got these beautiful dragonfly images in and that gorgeous little bee that keeps making an appearance on my things and some beautiful sentiments. It's a really, really popular stamp set. Um, to go alongside it, um, if you really like it, is the dies. Now, this is lovely, there's a lot of dies. There are a lot of dies in here. Um, you get your cute little bee beautiful and intricate die for the uh, dragonfly. You could stamp your dragonfly and cut him out as a solid shape. Um, these ones, you can make a row of dragonflies that are flying about. Um, you can cut them up as well. And also this rather beautiful, lovely, large, intricate dragonfly, which you might have seen in some of my projects because it's so pretty. I'm in love with these, can you tell? So I'll just pop those there just so you can see what options that you have with this bundle. It's beautiful. Ah, now I did use this detailed dragonfly as a mask to do some sponging and there it is, so you can get a general idea of how well it cuts it out. It's lovely. So that's that, so you can see what it is. I'll pop those away. But this um, card mainly uses this lovely paper. And so what I've done is I've already got my piece coloured in and I've decided here and I've decided to choose this watermelon wonder cardstock. This is real red in the pencil but I think it goes quite nicely there with the red and yellow. Um, so let's pop this to the side. So this is watermelon wonder and it's an A4 piece of card and it's cut at 14.8 and scored at 10.5 to make a nice medium card. Um, I've cut a layer for my inside sentiment in whisper white and I have just cut the same size panel from that paper after I'd coloured it all in um, to go on the top simple as that so I'm going to stick my top layer on because I don't need to do anything else with that um, using Tombow great multi-purpose glue let's get it going there we go It's a lovely way to make cards because you can just sit and sit and you know chill. You don't have to concentrate on very much. Just a little bit of colouring in. <clears throat> there we go. And I love the little bee. So on it goes. I don't think you'd want to see me doing all my colouring in. And I'm going to put my little uh, bees on on the circle. So I literally just use a circle punch on a scrap of Whisper White. This is the two inch circle punch. Oop, pop it in. Just need a scrap of paper. Okay. 
and I've got my little thank you friend sentiment. You can use anything you like on the front of your card. You could use something from the Dragonfly Dream set. I just rather like this little thank you friend. And this is with one of the hostess sets that are available from the catalogue at the moment. It's called Love You Lots. It's got these cute little characters in it, but this Love You Lots is what I actually wanted. So, love you, uh, uh, not Love You Lots, thank you friend, that's what I wanted, yes. So I'm going to stamp it out in the Watermelon Wonder, just to match the card blank. Let's hope it comes out nicely. Wish me luck. Oh, I've got black ink on my... Where's that come from? Oh, it's come from me. That's clever. There we are, just got my stamping scrub. It's good for all sorts of things. Right, let's go again. Um, I think I'm going to have it near nearer the bottom so I can get my B on. Thank you, friend. Yay! So that's fine. There we go. Um, I'm going to cover this up a minute. I think I'm having a spread the ink day, which is not good. <laughs> I'm get my black ink. Now, you can see my B's been very well loved and well used. I've used... Um, black stays on on that. It works brilliantly nonetheless for it being stained a little bit. And I'm going to stamp him straight onto my circle so he's flying down <coughs> like so. There, isn't he gorgeous? I'm going to ink him up again and I'm going to bring him into the side There he is. Thank you, friend. Right, let's pop him there in a moment. And that will go on the front of my card with a couple of dimensionals, like so. But I'm actually going to show you the um, how the little bee cuts out as well. You don't have to use these on your card. Um, I just thought I'd demonstrate it so you can see it. So I'm going to just ink him up one more time and stamp him on the scrap. Find the bee dye. Now these beautiful papers are free with celebration, which is ending on Friday. So if there's any uh, thing in that range that you'd like, you've got your eye on, don't miss out because you've uh, let it slip by. Make sure you get your papers. Um, you can get stamp sets and papers and there's a lovely card tin and there's all sorts of glimmer papers and products that you can get free. You just, um, if you're stocking up on all your essential items, um, like cardstock and all sorts of inks and other things, you need to have a £45 spend and then you can get any item you choose for free. There's a lot of stamp sets to choose from. Um, if you like this bundle with the dragonflies and the, the bees and you like the stamps and the die set, if you bought that at a bundle, you would save that, you know, the two things together, the stamps and the dies, you would save 10% on that. And that comes to almost 45 pounds. So you just may, may need to add in some glue or something and you've got there. Um, and then you could get all these papers for free. So you'd get the whole lot. For that which is a really good deal and they're timeless aren't they and they're really good for any occasion right I'm popping my little bee hang on I didn't show you there a little bee die it's going to go through the big shot which is just out of shot just popping it on there but you don't need to use the bee die on your card if you don't want to I just wanted to demo it um, it looks beautiful without, so you don't always have to have everything to make a beautiful card. Oh, my magnetic plate likes to stick to it. So it's in there, let's pop it out. Tell me if I have my piercing tool. It's elusive, you know. I do have one. <laughs> I always seem to lose it at the wrong moment. There we are, there's our bee. How pretty is he? It's flying about there. 
So I'm just going to pop them on the front of the card using a dimensional sticky foam pad. So I'll pop this, oh we've stuck that one on already. No we haven't, that's our other card. Right, here we go. It's not even Monday morning, <laughs> it's Tuesday. Right, here we go. You'd think I'd be with it by Tuesday. Oh dear. I'm not sure what day it will be when the video comes to you, but it's Tuesday now. Right, so thank you, friend. I'm going to pop our little B on. I think I might just use a piece of a dimensional. And the edges are perfect for getting a little shape to match the shape that you need. I'm just going to cut one in half. Great for that. Pop it on his body. So you don't want to see the dimensional through the B. <clears throat> and I'm going to pop it anywhere on my card, really, where I think it looks nice. Where should I put it? I'm going to pop it here. My backing didn't come off, I thought it had. There we go. See if I make the mistakes, you don't. There we are. There's our thank you friend. I'm going to pop the inside panel in and I've decided to use this sentiment here. And this says you are always there for me. So it's thank you friend, you're always there for me. Yay! Put that on my stamping scrub. Let's just let that dry a moment. Put some Tombow on the back and our card will be complete. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's nice to see the papers up close. And they go on forever, these papers. You can do an awful lot with them. Okay, so I'll put the dimensions of the base and the layers and things on my blog at inkstampshare.ink if you'd like to hop over there and have a look. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the, pro the, the project. You can uh, have a look at my shop at katebolt.stampinup.net and you can see all the things from Celebration on there and see if there's anything that you like and the papers and obviously are all there too. Thank you for stopping by.